Selamat sejahtera, salam bahagia, dan salam mekardiati. And hi everyone. My name is Meklarita Umban Anak Matthew from INSEC PISMP June 2021 from Institute of Teacher Education, Raja Mlewar Campus, Samra Negeri Sembilan. So for this um, course, EDUP 3013, Philosophy and Education in Malaysia, I will be giving a lesson about the philosophy of special education. So what is special education? Special education can be defined as a form of instruction that designs to meet the needs of the students with disabilities so that they can learn the same skills and information as other children in school. Special education also can be defined as a program designed specifically to meet the diverse needs of special needs students. This includes the use of special materials, special equipment, teaching and learning techniques according to the level and of ability and capability of the students. What is special education? Special education is a part of ordinary education. The United Nations Declaration on Human Rights, 1948, and the World Community Pledge at the World Conference on Education for All, 1990, affirm the right for all regardless of individual differences. <clears throat> There are three types of disabilities, physical, emotional, and behavioral. These are the, the category of children with problems in special education. The first one is special education for the visually impaired, short-sighted, and blind. The second one is special education for the hearing impaired. The third one is special education with learning disabilities. And the last one, is special rehabilitation education, beginning, which begins in 1998 under the management of JPK, Jabatan Pendidikan Khas. These are the category of children with special needs, Down syndrome, mild autism, hearing impairment, visual impairment, learning disabilities, problem with mental retardation, behavioral and emotional problems, speech or language impairment, smart or gifted and talented, physical disabilities, health impairment, and multiple problems. Special education objectives is to provide educational opportunities and facilities for students with special needs. The second one is to provide appropriate and relevant education to each student with special needs. Apart from that, special education objective is also to provide opportunities to develop the talent and potential of students with special needs, provide adequate and up-to-date teaching and learning materials, and lastly, ensure adequate and train teaching staff in the field of special education. The special education vision is to provide quality services to the students with special needs towards the excellence in life in the line of, in the line with the aspiration of the national education philosophy. So what is the, what is the sixth aspiration of the national education philosophy? These are the six aspirations of the students based on the national education philosophy. The first one is knowledge, bilingual skills, thinking skills, leadership skills, ethics, and spiritually, as well as national identity. Special education mission is to provide quality education to students with special needs to make them independent, successful in life, and contribute to the society as well as the country. According to the laws of Malaysia, students with disabilities are categorized as students who have been identified and certified by a qualified medical officer 
as having disabilities that can affect their learning process in a normal classroom. This, the students of these different categories of learning disabilities are all grouped under one category called the learning disabilities and are placed in integrated program for learning disabilities or are sent to remedial class or regular class based on laws of Malaysia. Children with special needs have the right to quality education and lifestyle as they too are an asset and a part of human capital of the country. This is because respect, tolerance, and spirit of working together, despite the differences, are the key factors in attaining success in forming a cohesive society. There are three types of programs in special education. The first one is special, special schools program. Special school program for children with one category of problems or disabilities for Example, hearing impaired. The second one is merger or integration program. The merger program is a program that plays special children with hearing problems, visual impairment, and learning disabilities in regular schools, in separate class, classes from regular students. The last one is inclusive program. The inclusive program is a program that plays special children with hearing impairment, visual impairment, and learning disabilities with normal children in a classroom with the help of resource, teacher, or mentors. So the school periods of special education children is, the schooling period of special education children is the same as for ordinary pupils. Primary schools for six years and secondary schools for five years. The additional schooling time is given to unsatisfactory factory children. The extended schooling period is as follows. Given an additional two years um, can be taken at lower level, level, either one year or two, two years. If the additional study continues for one year only at the primary school, primary level, the student chooses to take the remaining one year at the secondary level. So these are the philosophy of special education. Special education in Malaysia is a continuous effort to produce people who are skilled, oriented, capable, faithful, independent, able to plan and manage life and realize their potential as an individual and a balanced and productive members of society in line with the national education philosophy. These are the description for the philosophy of special education. which is to implement the principles contained in the philosophy of special education, balancing educational opportunities in terms of financial allocation, special support services, specialists, physical allocation, development, and others. The third one is to provide a comprehensive and integrated development of in the intellectual and psychomotor skills to produce educated and balanced individual in society. Emphasizing education for all. All programs, plan and design should be based on functional capabilities, not on categories or labeling. So these are the Kebat questions for philosophies of special, edu special education, I'm sorry. One, due to the pandemic, the students with special needs and their teacher are having a difficult time learning online. If you are the teacher, what are the steps that you can take to teach your students with special needs? 
That is all for me. Thank you for listening.